Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of the other nice Harbor Freight rechargeable lithium-ion flashlight. This would be the Quantum QFL285. The difference between this one and the one I reviewed just a few videos ago, the Slim LED Stick Light, is that this is a standard torch or flashlight, and the fact that it comes with a charger. It advertises itself as being quite a bit less bright, although it's focused in a beam, so it's a bit deceiving because uh, the stick light has 25 or excuse me 33 percent more output than this but since it's over a broad area it just doesn't quite seem as bright as this one even though this one has less absolute output uh, it's really concentrated and of course being lithium ion rechargeable makes it very handy it has good runtime advertising five hours at its full brightness of 285 lumens and then being rechargeable and lithium ion means it's convenient because you can charge it up and just let it uh, sit in the drawer for a few months and it'll be ready to use. Let's go and get this package open. We'll do a little unboxing here. We'll do it this way with the, the knife. These packages are always a little bit funky trying to get into. If you're ever using a knife, make sure to always cut away from you rather than towards you when you're trying to get into the packaging. This does indeed have a different type of USB cable than the stick light came with, which I also find interesting. Uh, the fact that these things have uh, such interesting changes between the suppliers. And it's obvious whoever's supplying this product is not supplying the stick light because we have different cables and wires, which seems rather strange. Let's try to get this charger out of here. There we go. We have a little instruction manual. Here's our little charging brick. I do like the charging brick. Oop, I did scratch it there. Uh, it does have an LED light on it, so I do appreciate that. Let's see what the ratings are on this power brick, if we can get my camera. There we go. It is 5 volts at 1 amp. And it's interesting. It's a USB output, but they still have a symbol for when it's a circular connector. And then let's go ahead and get the flashlight out of here. We'll try not scratching it up too bad. Let's see if we can't. Oh, that was pretty easy. Whoop. There we go. Let's go ahead and take a nice close look at this unit. We can see we have one high power kind of Cree style LED. What we do see back in there is a really nice design for the lens. You can see that it's a micro faceted lens, which tends to work a little better than just totally smooth ones. Obviously that's more expensive because you have to have this real special mold with all these little flats in it. But that is good to see. I really do appreciate a higher quality reflector in there. It is an aluminum body. It's not the heaviest duty. There's our charging port and it does have a charging indicator in there. There we go. You can see the little LED light, and that is a bitone. It will be red when you're charging and green when it's charged. It has this collar, which you can twist, which will help. Oh, that's interesting. It will twist 360 degrees. Oh, I see what's happening here. There is a little rubber seal around this port, but when I'm twisting it this way, the little rubber seal pops up and gets kind of jammed. Um, but it is nice that they do have a seal in there, so that's something to be aware of is the nature of the ceiling here. Uh, it doesn't quite want to cooperate, but it is a very good idea. Uh, having a twisting collar like that, which is metal, really does help keep the charge port protected. Um, and in this situation, I really could approve of that because uh, even though it may not have the highest amount of water resistance, it would certainly you know, survive some rain. And if this is in a toolbox, it really will keep the crud out of that charging port. Although eventually I suspect that, that little seal there as you can see, it's already getting kind of caught up. You'll have to really make sure that it's uh, well lubricated. Yeah, the whole ceiling system is going to become an issue because it just wants to get folded up. Oh, I'm sure it'll eventually fall out. It has a nice rubber seal on the bottom. Let's go ahead and take it open. And I believe it'll have the same type of battery that we found in the previous units. Now, I had made a mistake. I was comparing the uh, standard 6 18650 lithium ion rechargeable batteries to the ones that these Harbor Freights come with. And the Harbor Freights come with what is known as a protected cell. And here we are. I'm gonna end up using this for a project. So taking it apart, it turns out that it's this one is totally not designed to have the battery replaced at all. The internals are completely press fit inside. 
um, and there's no way to really get these components unscrewed. The top just comes, uh, comes unscrewed and the whole LED base is pressed in there. So at least I saved probably some people some effort, uh, some time, and some potential damage. Uh, if you pull out, try to pull out the battery, there's nothing you can do. These wires are actually jammed or all soldered and it's all pressed in tight with the charger. And they're, when you pull it, these wires are blind down in there. So when you pull it out, it only comes out about halfway before it's stopped by those wires. And then there's no way to replace the battery without actually ripping them out. And then there's no way to get access to the circuit board inside there. So that will at least help save some people some effort. Uh, don't try to replace the batteries because it will just destroy the unit. We can take a look at this battery since we've got it apart. It's in an interesting little holder here. Oh, and we can find, see that it is an 18650, but that's an 1800 milliamp hour. So it's even less capacity than the stick light. The stick light had a 2200 milliamp hour. So this is definitely a smaller battery. It does appear to have the integrated protection circuit in there. You can see that big bulky board. So that is at least a nice feature. And we didn't even get to show it charging, but that's fine. And then here's just a little power switch, just a simple button with both of the wires soldered to it. And we'll go and show the inside of the front here. Here's that little lens. There's a closer look at it. That is still pretty nice. It is just a plastic lens with a metallic coating. And then there's your LED assembly. And it has an integrated resistor, so they're just buying this assembly as bulk and then putting it into a flashlight. And this appears how to, it's assembled from the top down. That aluminum ring is actually press fit into there. What is also interesting is that is designed to have a heat sink on it, but it's only uh, just touching the edge of that aluminum ring. So if you were to use this for many hours, I'm sure that would get pretty hot. And that shortens the LED lifespan. They really don't like to get hot. Anyway, that was just a quick review of the Harbor Freight Quantum Rechargeable LED Lithium Ion Flashlight. And just wanted to bring you the details of this device and then show you how it's not serviceable. And I didn't show how bright it was because I already destroyed it before I did that. But that's just the way it goes with a small-time YouTube reviewer. I really appreciate everybody watching. Please subscribe. Catus Maximus out.